Hi, this is Life or Death. Um, you know, formerly known as Life or Death, the cat's out of the bag. I became Jicey, you know, from my dual days, you know, doing my thing. Um, I'm trying to talk to you about Mocos, the film I'm in, you know. Um, it, it's a trip because it started off not me having a big role, and it was on and off things, figuring out the, uh, the roles and how to get everything together, and it's getting better and better. Um, it's about, you know, it's going to be a thriller in its own way about cults and situations about the past, present, and future and where you're going to go through the blinds and ups and downs and situations, you know, feeling where are you going to go when the, the tape's done and how are you going to go and also about a virus and t t uh, and how to, how to survive and how to be a person and what's the journey and what were you and what are you and what are you becoming and the strategies from the outlines of just understanding just um a plausible cause to continue um believing because things shut down real quick and i'm just happy to be a part of it and um you know uh it's now or never to do anything and it's just you have choices and i have a choice and um i'm happy to be part of it and um the, the film's doing good and I'm happy to be here um you know so it, they said that they're gonna dub everything September so we don't know exactly when it's coming out but September it'll be done and so I'm happy to be a part of it and it just goes through things man you see someone you don't but you gotta feel a vision and I'm one of the stars feeling something and you know you can't say anything about wrestling when it comes to me because at the end of the day you felt something and not many people can feel something. You come in the building when I'm gone, you feel something. You come in the building when I'm there, and you come in the building before I was there, and you feel something because I'm coming there. And that is just how I do things. You heard? Holla at your boy. And, um, you know, I don't care. I felt people felt things. People felt things move. People felt the air, and people cared. And I don't, don't you dare. And they can never take that away from me, and I'm moving on. It's pretty much the end for that kind of the entertainment wrestling guy. But never forget my high elbows and my leg drop and the curve out and when they fall on their back and um, the d dead set lullaby finisher with the submission where I curve out and I pull out the leg, man. I was just I was trying to tell stories and make it a fashionable situation. And I did everything I could and the people behind the scenes, some people did what they could too. And I did what I got to do. And um, things didn't work out, but um, I know that people got to feel. And whenever they know, they know. And even if it's not on a camera and it, they sense it, it will feel because I know how to make people feel things. Ain't no lie. Because I can do something outside the ring and inside the ring at the same time. And that's feel something. And I don't know if everyone can do that, but I know I can do that. You see the same guy in and out the ring with the speech or movement or a pulse. And that's all I got to say about that. But um, that's done, and there's talented people, and I'm happy for them. And I was, I was into plays and performances. I'm into, you know, theater. So I did what I could in volume and pitches and energy and understand calls and understand movements. And it was a great journey, and I was just happy to do that. But uh, Mocha, check it out. It's my second movie. Uh, get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know. It's somewhere. That was in Juneau, Alaska, and it was um, uh, an honorable situation, just feeling things out and understanding theories and co pros and cons about uh, making moves and who you're going to be and what you're going to be and the ins and outs of a life, or death, I should say, and just figuring out there's more to the world and you got to go and find it because, you know, things happen. So I was happy, and so I'm thankful for the Mocos um, film and uh, things 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 are going, and um. I'm an inspiring actor, and um, I'm always always want to do uh, performances. You know, I'm in plays and performances. I've always had dreams about them, but I also always wanted to bring the circus, and I'm bringing the circus. And I've been in council meetings, and I've done what I did to grow things, and it's all through things, and that's what I wanted. And uh, don't you dare, because I'm here. Uh, I'm still repping the chain. You can't take that away from me, and I'm still doing hip hop. I'm not leaving. I'm just not making a whole bunch of new songs. I'm just making beats with my songs. So it's just a guy who, you have it on YouTube, but with experience, and he has new beats. I've made the Dead Set Lullaby, fashionable for my finisher, 
and um, you know that was a blast and it's gonna be on more stuff but um I'm still a uh, big business call at your boy um, we doing things right and I'm just I have the speeches and I have the quotes and they ain't going down nowhere because the streets man I'm still about them so um holla at me dreams come true and situations can become thinner and thinner until the ice breaks through the cold and the wind and you can just understand that there are uh, more to this than you will ever know and we'll get to the new film and we'll get to whatever is left to create something I call it fashion so it's like 2001 again enjoy everything thank you uh, Jesse over now. Bye-bye.